It's always entertaining when you catch up with he's Sean Matthew Richardson. He's standing between you and I now. Peter, that's a big win for you and your footy club. Yeah, it was it was huge. Um, obviously, we were disappointed last week in Perth that we probably let that game slip away from us. Um, but then the best thing about a six-day turnaround is you don't have to think about it too much. We knew we were going to come up against a good team. Um, we knew we had to bring our best, and it was a great game, and glad we ended up on top. Peter, it's good fun in the back 50 when it's coming in, a team's coming from behind and they're surging. It's a really relaxing place to be. Yeah, it's great, especially when we're turning the ball over through the midfield and they're coming straight back in. But um, I thought... Obviously, their pressure was elite. Our pressure probably matched them. Um, and, yeah, it was just a really good game. I think both teams up and back had chances where they yeah. took, took the game by the scruff of the neck, um, and we were lucky to end up on top. Peter, you're our Host Plus Performance Player of the night tonight. We had our ISO cam on you, which is always good because you're never short of something to say. You're always issuing some instructions, and that was a massive play right there. You saved a certain goal and telling Leon Cameron what to do as well, mate. Yeah, mate, it's, um, you, should, you could have told me I was getting ISO cam because I would have kept it um, a bit tamer, but um, I was just, I think it was a good effort, good all-round effort. I think everyone had their moments. Um, and, yeah, I think it was just, it was just a good all-round even effort. Peter, uh, if you could have had anyone in your team kicking that goal from the pocket, it would have been Toby Green. When he marked that footy, he believed he was going to kick it, and that makes a difference when you've got the belief that you're going to kick it. It never looked like missing. No, he's, he loves the big moment, Toby, and it was, it was great to have him back. He's, he's missed a lot of footy, and we've missed his spirit in the fall line. He's, he's so dangerous, and yeah. he attracts defenders to him because they know how dangerous he is, and I think the guys around him um, lifted having him down there. You're not short of self-confidence, uh, Heather, over the journey, but have you ever played with someone who backs their ability as much as this man we're looking at here, the number four. He's just got a swagger about him, the likes of which we've never seen before. Yeah, he's, he's an elite competitor. One-on-one, -on -one, he's, he's very hard to, to keep down. And as I said, he's dangerous. And, and defenders are under the pump whenever he's around and, and they know he's, he can score at any time. Now, Shuri, uh, you're up in the seventh now and you're back in the eight. You've won five out of six. The belief must be building that you can still have a massive say now in September. I think so. Um, I think our last sort of five weeks or six weeks of footy has been pretty good. Um, we've played some pretty ugly footy in one, yeah. and we've played some good footy in one tonight. So the belief is building, and it's pretty simple. You keep winning, you stay in the A. It's yeah. so tight. Um, we were sixth last week, we dropped down to tenth this week, and now back up to seventh. So you just got to keep winning. And it feels like, uh, Shory, that you're starting to get the right group of players back at the right time. Toby Green back in tonight. We know Jeremy Cameron's got a few weeks to go back. Brett Delidio got through OK tonight. Is there a sense that you might get everyone together at the right time? I hope so. <laughs> Timing is everything, and, and I suppose you, you look at the last couple of years, Bulldogs peaked at the right time, Richmond peaked at the right time. We, last year we were probably up the top and, and we, we dropped away towards the end of the year, and this year we're going about it a bit differently. Hopefully we make our way by the end of the year into the eight, and, and who knows. Peter, you would have heard the criticism over the last few years. You're so much talent in this team. You can play beautiful football. The skills are elite. Everything's great, but... People wonder whether you can win those really tight games, those grinding games. I think your form recently showing that you're playing that sort of footy in the last month. Yeah, I suppose it's it's hard. Like the last couple of years, we were, like you said, we were up the top and we were playing some really good footy and winning, but then we dropped some games, um, some tough games like this. So, as I said before, we're going about it a different way. We've, we've been under the pump with injuries um, and our form sort of wavered, but the last sort of six weeks, they're consistently, we're consistently building, and I think that's a positive that we can take out and moving forward is that we are building. We're not at our peak just yet, but um, getting a few guys back help and, and that confidence builds when you win. Peter, hey, thanks for your time yeah, tonight. Thanks, mate. We'll let you go and enjoy it with your mates. Congratulations. Good luck for the uh, last part of the year. Thanks for having me. Hey, Shaw sure was outstanding.